Hi class 2. So today we are going to solve all the exercises of chapter 6. Okay. The mice and the elephant that chapter we will do all the exercises. So please open your book English literature book 75 page number. Okay. So here the first exercise is quick answers. Quick answers you see. It is written in a story. The problem is what went wrong. Take the sentence that tells us about the problem in the story. What is the problem in the story? Number A sentence. Long ago, near a lake in a thick forest, there lived a large mouse family. This is the problem. Or number B. Many of the elephants were caught in the great rope traps. And number C. The mouse king called all the mice together. Which one is the problem? So, the problem is number B. Many of the elephants were caught in the great rope trap. So, elephants were caught. No? So, that is the problem. They were caught in the great rope trap. So, look at the board. There it is written. One answer B is the correct answer. Okay? Tick mark. Put a tick mark with pencil. Then, exercise 2. In a story, the solution is how things were made right in the end. So, how everything was rightly made at the end? Take the sentence that tells us about the solution. What is the solution? We will find out. The first sentence is near a river. On the other side of the forest, there lived a herd of elephants. This is number A. Number B, one day elephant trappers came to the forest. This is the solution. Or number C, the group of mice gnawed the ropes of the traps with their tiny sharp teeth. So, we know... From the story that at last groups of mice came and they started biting the ropes and they saved the elephants. So an option C is the correct. So number two exercise. Number two option C is the correct answer. So please take mark. And question answers I am going to send you. Okay in the telegram refers to the context and read reflect and write. So please turn to page number 76. There is a portion, there is a portion word wall, okay? There is a portion word wall. Find opposites of these words in the word search given below. Now, you can see enormous, up, caught, remembered, best. Yes, you can see this words enormous, uh, enormous, up, caught, remembered, best. So, what is the opposite of enormous? You have to search from this puzzle okay from there you have to search and you have to circle it okay this is your homework you will do it by yourself what is the opposite of enormous opposite of up opposite of caught opposite of remembered opposite of based okay and this making new words okay making new words where you have to make some new words okay you can see the pictures are given here is a picture of a flower, plate, peahen, plain, plants, peel, heel and tape. So, by seeing the pictures, by seeing these pictures, you have to fill in the blanks. You can see that the whole word is not given properly. That means some letters are missing. So, you have to put the correct letter. So, I have done it on the board. Please take a pencil and write it down in your book okay so the spelling of petal p e t a l petal i'm repeating p e t a l petal then the second one is split p l a t e plate p l a t e plate then it is p hen p e a h e n p hen p e a h e n p hen next is next is plane P L A N E plane. P L A N E plane. Plant. P L A N T plant. P L A N T plant. Then peel. P W -E L peel. P W -E L peel. H W -E L peel. T A P E T. Okay. So all of you please write it down. Now we are going to learn. About the use of has or have. 
okay where do we use has when we are having singular subject it is it will take has if it is plural subject that means more than one subject we are talking it will take have see page number 77 it is written an elephant has a huge trunk so one elephant it is talking about one elephant so when it is telling about one person one elephant so after that you have to write h a s has okay and if it is talking about many things like mice mice is plural so there are many mouse so mice have h a v e okay so you have to correctly place the has or have beside the subject now see the table is given uh, here in your book okay so this page you have to go through now you can see here the girl is playing with the dog you we use has for one person or animal when when do we use has for one person or animal we use have for more than one person and when we use have when more person or more animal is present that time we use h a v e have and we also use have with i and you when we write after i i have you have we write have okay after i and you i you i have some crayons so you have to practice this sentence use this table to practice saying the sentence with have or has so learn this types of sentence at home and try to write it okay i have some crayons i have some balls you have some crayons you have some balls like this tom and annie have many books tom and annie have many houses grandma and grandpa have many books my friends have many books like this you have to practice telling this okay tom and annie tom has here we are using has so only we will take the name of one person okay tom has an orange annie has some toys like this okay now turn to page 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 number 78 there is a filling the blanks you have to look at this pictures given below and fill in the blanks with have or has grandfather and grandmother dash a farm have a farm okay so i have written down all the answers on the board you can see from there also grandfather dash a spade grandfather has a spade grandfather is one person so has grandmother dash a watering can so grandmother is one person so has or have has grandfather and grandmother when it is given grandfather and grandmother two names together then it will be have because two persons it will take have the horse dash horse is one horse has so please look at the board first one a grandfather and grandmother have a farm they are working on the farm number b grandfather has a spade number c grandmother has a watering can number d grandfather and grandmother have lots of animals number e the horse has a brown tail horse is one part one animal that's why has number f the rooster dash a green tail rooster also one animal rooster has the ducks ducks is plural s is given so the ducks have grandfather and grandmother two persons so h a v e have number h number i grandfather dash a red tractor grandfather is one person has a red tractor grandmother dash a blue tractor grandmother is also one person has a blue tractor has i love going to the farm i dash lots of fun there i have because we know according to the rules after i always we write h a v e have Though I is singular, but it is exceptional case. After I, we always write have. And number L, do you have? After you also we write have. You is a plural, so we write have. So up to this, you please uh, learn. And next class, I am going to teach you some more grammar portions. Okay, so bye all of you.